CARICOM and India discussed areas for closer cooperation in 4th CARICOM India Forum. Heads of government agreed to tackle financial crimes. And Jamaica National wins CARICOM 50th Anniversary Logo Competition. Good day everybody, welcome to this week's broadcast of the CARICOM News Time. With the details, I am Tusankin English Francis. CARICOM and India have agreed to work closer in areas including small and medium-sized enterprises, agriculture, technology, energy, health, and financing for development. Foreign Ministers of CARICOM and India's Minister of External Affairs, Honorable Dr. Subramaniam Jaik Shankar, met on April 21st for the 4th CARICOM India Forum at the Georgetown Guyana headquarters of the CARICOM Secretariat. During the opening ceremony, CARICOM Secretary General Dr. Carla Barnett said India has been a vital partner since the two parties formalized diplomatic relations in 1997. Solidarity and support from India continues to contribute to the advancement of regional integration objectives in areas such as agriculture, information and communication technology, climate change mitigation and adaptation, and disaster risk management. The multi-sectoral capacity building program under the India Technical and Economic Cooperation Program has benefited CARICOM member states greatly. Co-chair of the meeting, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade of Jamaica, the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, highlighted the value of the meeting to CARICOM and India. Colleagues, our engagement today also gives us time to reflect on the common values shared by CARICOM and India namely our commitments to democracy, sustainable development, and multilateralism. These principles provide a foundation for cooperation between the community and India in the international forum. We share a firm understanding that traditional development financing frameworks do not meet all the needs of the developing South, and that climate change presents an existential, an existential threat to our societies, acknowledging the realities of a global crisis where small island and low-lying coastal developing states are paying the price for the advancement of developed states. Dr. Jai Shankar told the meeting that among the areas in which India stands ready to assist CARICOM are low-cost genetics, technology, and human resource capacity. He recommended a meeting of the CARICOM India Joint Commission this year to strengthen mechanisms for cooperation. Small and medium enterprises. Uh, we would be uh, open to supporting on a grant basis projects, individual projects of up to a value of a million dollars uh, and uh, uh, see whether, you know, uh, our capability, which will include the supply of machinery, of technology, of training, uh, whether uh, if we can get uh, really viable project or offers from your side, uh, we would be very, very happy to uh, look at that. As CARICOM wages war on guns, member states have indicated that they will strengthen the capacity of the Regional Intelligence Fusion Center and enhance data sharing. At the just concluded Regional Symposium on Crime and Violence as a Public Health Issue, held in Trinidad and Tobago, CARICOM heads of government agreed to tackle corruption by establishing an entity under CARICOM impacts to contain financial crimes, including money laundering. We speak a lot about illegal entry, and we assume, and that assumption is still alive and well, that a lot of the illegal movement of these unwanted items, which are so dangerous to us, are facilitated by some element of corruption at various locations. We need to strengthen our laws to treat with new and emerging crimes that our old laws did not contemplate. Uh, and so we are dealing with things now like cybercrime, for example. But we are also dealing with financial crimes. And uh, we are also now dealing with a new type of criminal activity, the organized criminal activity, whose deliberate and sole purpose is a business model designed to weaken the state to create space in which they can carry out their illicit activities. And in fact, that is one of the 
root causes of corruption. CARICOM Secretary General Dr. Carla Barnett has pointed to the benefits to homes and society when women and girls are empowered through ICT. The Secretary General was delivering remarks at a virtual event to mark Girls in ICT Day 2023. The CARICOM Girls in ICT Partnership and Restore a Sense of ICANN International Organization hosted the day-long event on April 27. ICT provides career opportunities to young female professionals as a sector, and many modern careers are reliant on ICT. When women and girls are empowered through ICT, homes and societies benefit overall. With easy, affordable access to the internet and the necessary skills to use digital technologies, they gain opportunities to start new businesses, offer their products in new, sometimes online markets, find better paid jobs, and participate more fully in public life. The State of Regional Trade Policy received attention recently when the Prime Ministerial Committee on External Trade Negotiations met virtually. Chair of the meeting, Jamaica's Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, underscore the need for a transformational trade agenda that supports economic growth in the region. The subcommittee will consider setting a transformational trade policy agenda which supports the region's enhanced trade performance and sustainable economic growth and development. I underscore in particular the importance of first assessing the current policy and institutional framework that exists to support productive activity in the region, then identifying the areas that require improvement, and then thirdly, more comprehensive and integrated policies on agriculture, services, and industrial development. The CARICOM Secretariat is pursuing organizational reform and enhanced service as the administrative arm of the community. This by implementing a strategic plan for the period 2022 to 2030. In an interview, Deputy Secretary General of the CARICOM Secretariat, Dr. Armstrong Alexis, provided insights on the priorities of the strategy. Primarily, the plan has been designed um, to provide us with a compass um, towards 2030. Uh, 2030 is the year when the entire um, global community will reflect on the sustainable development goals and the extent to which um, we have achieved the, um, the outcomes that we would have set ourselves or the goals that we would have set ourselves um, for, for human and social development um, and for the development of the member states of the United Nations, of which, of course, all of the CARICOM member states um, are part of. And therefore, in designing our strategic plan, we took into consideration that our member states have already made global commitments which would weigh down to the benefit of every citizen in the community. The community should see results of the strategy by 2030. Dr. Armstrong explains how this will be done. So whilst the Secretariat and, and the Secretary General in particular is engaged um, with member states um, and with the international community on conversations around uh, climate change, much of the technical work on climate change is spearheaded and championed by the five seats, uh, 19 regional institutions, and many of them, they would carry the technical burden whilst the Secretariat manages the, the policy and, and works with heads of governments and, and, and the various ministerial councils um, to ensure that the policy frameworks are determined uh, and, and that is done, uh, the, the, the delivery of the results um, is in collaboration with the, with the regional institutions. Jamaican creative Andre Bartley is elated that his artwork emerged as the winning entry in the logo competition for CARICOM's 50th anniversary. In addition to a monetary prize, Bartley's logo design will brand all communication products and events to mark the anniversary. 
Bartley told the communications unit that he received the news when he was searching his emails for responses to job applications. So looking for a job, applying for jobs and such. So I went to check my email just to um, see if any response is there. Then I saw this um, congratulations um, from the CARICOM thing. So I was like, okay. So I opened it and apparently I won. And <laughs> trust me, I smiled, smiled <laughs> from ear to ear. A regional judging panel selected Bartley's design from more than 40 entries. The CARICOM community is about uh, unity. So they're all united in ribbon flowing through the 50 years. So we're seamlessly flowing through the 50 years and together. And the CARICOMs, I use the, the zero as a, the earth with the CARICOM on top and the ribbon is, you know, wrapped around it. So that's embraced in the 50 years as well. CARICOM's golden jubilee anniversary year commences on July 4th. The milestone coincides with the 45th meeting of the Conference of CARICOM Heads of Government. Both celebrations are scheduled to return to the birthplace of CARICOM, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for watching this broadcast of the CARICOM News Time. For more stories, you can visit the CARICOM News site at today.caricom.org or the CARICOM website at caricom.org. You can also like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be safe and see you next time.